Say, listen, hey, Doc, I want to ask you, where were you? I mean, how did I get here before you did? I had a stop to make. Oh? What is it, Fred? Uh, I don't want to get into your personal life, nothing like that, you know, but I just was concerned about you. Oh, Fred, that's uh. very nice. Oh, I can tell you where I was. I was over at Mel's. And you told him about your visit with me? Yes, and I told him you said no. But Donna... Fred, <laughs> don't be sorry about what you said. You said the truth. You simply told me how you felt. Well, Donna, honey... But after I left you, I realized that no matter what you said, as long as I felt about you the way that I do, no matter what you felt about me, I shouldn't marry another man. What? <laughs> it was wrong of me to base my answer to Mel on your answer to me. I realized that I simply don't love Mel enough to marry him. So I told him I wouldn't marry him. You told him no? I told him no. Now, what is it you wanted to tell me? <laughs> Well, see, uh, I wanted to tell you that if you were getting married, I wanted to give you my best regard and, and good luck in your marriage. And that if you were getting to married tomorrow, I, I couldn't be there because I, I think this is it. I mean, I, I, I should be home in bed. <coughs> I, I, that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna go home and get in the bed right now. Oh, I feel so bad. Oh, if Lamont was just home, I wouldn't be lonesome. Fred, Fred, <coughs> I'm coming to be with you. Huh? Mother, I'm here. Uh, I'm going to spend the night with Fred. Uh, no, you're not. Uh, Mother, he's very ill and he may need nursing care. Uh, I'll spend the night with him. Uh, Okay, thank you, Mother. You're welcome. I feel better now. Well, I guess I'll have to give Mel his ring back. It is beautiful, though, isn't it, Fred? Oh, it's all right. But when I make up my mind to marry you, I'm gonna give you a ring. Oh, Fred, when is that gonna be? I I'll give you a ring. <laughs> Come back here.